guys, welcome to Streetism TV. How are you doing? And how was your new year? And I hope you have a new year resolution. So you know what is happening around Nigeria presently? We are about to enter the month of election. The presidential election is around the corner. And I hope you've got your PVC. I'm very sure you don't suffer for another four years. Get your PVC and vote right. So the topic I'm going to Lagos this evening to ask about is, what is your political view? about this upcoming election what is the political view about nigeria economy so stay tuned and come with me my name is Belo imole are your life okay good evening this is streetism tv i have here with me can i meet you please your name okay my name is um babatunde williams olojo um they call me too legit eh? again too, too legit too legit how are you doing today very well thank and you and how was your day yeah, it's been it's been going fine so far. Thank God. Okay, oh, thanks to God. So, and I have this question for you. You know, um, the election is around the corner. In less than a few weeks now, we're having our presidential election in Nigeria. So, I just want to seek your own opinion concerning the political view of this country. What's your opinion concerning this forthcoming election? Um, okay, I... Well, you know, I'm expectant. You know, it's 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 um it's a very strategic period okay. for us as um, a country um, because you know, considering the things that have been happening all over the world, okay. you know, if countries like UK, America have been struggling, if they've been having a, you know a struggling economy, okay. and then you look like um, countries like Nigeria, you know third world country like Nigeria you know you you wonder what our future is so it's 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 something it's a period that will be very very serious in terms of you know um, choosing um, who would actually be leading us you know as, as our leader you know as a president you know the forthcoming election you know the outcome of the forthcoming election and all yeah because it's 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 very important that we choose the right persons yeah, so I'm expectant actually. Okay, it is but now we choose the right person, right? Yeah. So how do we choose this right person? Do we even know them? How can we identify the right person? How do we go about it that we don't choose wrong for another four years again? How do we go about it? Okay, yeah, for me like my personal criteria okay. is I look at I look at things from you know a very practical angle which is yes i want to check the persons who are on ground yeah. you know i as far as i'm concerned let me just set this background they are all villains so nobody's actually a saint among them because you know you understand to be a leader you you <laughs> in nigeria you you definitely have to be a villain so exactly. not, nobody is a saint but sure. then we look at them at on practical grounds like what do they really stand for? What does their brand really, you know, uh, what, are, what, are, what have been their brand promises and how have they been able to achieve or deliver these promises over time? You understand me? What workforce do they have? What relevant workforce do they have? What, what um, um, you know, things have they really done in the past? that are commensurate to what they are actually trying or agitating, you know, or kind of like campaigning for, you understand me, aspiring for, you know, so to speak. You know, what things are they, have they done that can measure up with their aspiration okay. to say, okay, we want to take, you know, you want to have our votes and we're ready to give you our votes. You understand okay. me? So I check. So for me, that's, th these are the major things. So I look, track record, okay. you know, uh, <laughs> your, the person's vision, Okay. You know, does the person really have a brand? Is the person intentional? Has the person just been gallivanting? Show sure you understand me. What are the consistencies in the person's brand? How have they been able to deliver it? You understand? And then we can now start trusting you for bigger challenges, bigger things like, you know, presidency. Oh, if I can get you right, like you should run a background check on yeah, them. Yeah. But, but truly, if you are to run a background check on all of these people, we don't even need to run a background check. I think every one of us in Nigeria has one or two ideas about all of this uh, presidential aspirant, right? Yeah, we yeah. don't want to talk about them. So if we are to run a background check on them, I'm very sure none of them might be worthy of being um, the next Nigeria president. 
So are you, are you think running a background check is going to like make us choose right? Well, you see, when when um, you are given three options in an exam, okay. If there is no option that says none of the above, you don't go for none of the above. You must choose one option out of you understand so that's that's what we're saying there's no such thing as none of them they would always be the ones who are more considerable than the others okay from whatever parameters whatever angles you want to check you know but for me i feel it should be devoid okay. of any form of sentiment okay sure you understand me you know we should really ask ourselves the right questions and you know provide the right answers before regardless of you know, your your religious inclination, you know, your your tribal, you understand me, connection or what, what have you. Yeah, yeah, basically. Okay, so, so to make this work out, for us to choose the right president in Nigeria, what do we need to do? The major, the primary thing we need to do, what what does what it we need to do? Like I said, just do your research, you know, follow After your mind. Research. And follow your mind and make a choice. I know, right? So how do we make this vote? Yeah, you need to go out there with your votes, like your voters, uh, voters card. That is what I want. Yeah. To, so, uh, do you have yours? Sure, I do. You've collected yours, right? Yeah, I do. The permanent voters card. I've always had. I've always had my permanent. I've voted since <laughs> transition of government. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that is very good. Sure. So you have yours, and do you make sure your people, your colleagues, your friends, your family members, do you make sure they have theirs too? As a matter of fact, I've. That's, that's what I spend my leisure time doing, you know? Okay. I'm the kind of person that sits, you know, and creates conversations around, okay. you know, the things that has to do with marching forward, you know, the country, the country moving forward from where we are, okay. without, you know, considerations of, you know, all the problems that we are facing. Yes, it's enough that we have problems, but we don't <laughs> need to add more. So, from where we are going forward, I've always been the conversation of, okay, let's move, let's, let's take you know, decisive, decisive actions, take decisions okay. to plunge yours into the next stage and then gradually from there we'll achieve it. I've always been doing that actually. I, 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 I can see that. So now, now, let's say that since you have your PVC, you have the right to vote and I'm very sure you not say your vote, right? I don't want to ask who you are rooting for, but I'm very sure you're going to choose right. Sure. Okay, so very well then. So now, let us look at it from this aspect. Do you believe in the youth of this country? Yes, I do. So do you think if any of the youth choose to aspire to become the president of this country, do you think there will be changes in the economy of Nigeria? Well, it depends. It depends on the angle you actually see things from. Okay. You know, um, when we talk about youth now, we're talking about um, young adults from yes, the age of like um, 18 to... Like 18 to... 40? 45, 50. 45? 50. Okay. 50, okay. So you see that, you know, there are probably two or more generations in this particular timeline. But the most active generations that are more, more of the young adults are the, um, the millennials. Okay. You understand? And you see, one thing is very sure among the millennials, which is, which is a low, you know, um, no, not self-esteem, like a low um, um, appreciation for moral values. Oh. Sure you understand. Very low appreciation for moral uh, values. Yeah, most, of the, most of the values that the older generations actually had, you know, most of them are nowhere to be found today. Okay. And so this, these are the things, these are the building blocks of true leadership. These are the things that would make one actually say, you know, the young generation can do so well. So you see, even the young generation that can do so well are within the ages, in my opinion, within the ages of 35 to 40, 40 50. Because they are the ones that will still have a certain level of Omo, um, let's, let's say, okay, the Yoruba will call it Omo Luabi. The Omo, Omo, Omo Luabi, yeah, yes, yeah. the Omo Luabi culture, the Omo Luabi values, you exactly. understand? Because if you don't have this, how do you measure your do's and your don'ts? How do you control your society? For example, if you have um, a young person who actually believes in um, gay rights, <laughs> become your president, you would always have fractions of exactly. those kind of things in his government. So it matters to us that we do not 
depend on the young people just because they are known to be the age okay. that would just normally aspire for things. Okay. You know, every young person wants to achieve in life, and yeah. so, you know, but you know, but the fact that we are young and we have we are saddled with the responsibilities and the creativity to change and solve problems. Sure, you understand? I yes, like the Nigerian problem. You understand? So, in all I am saying, in conclusion, I'm saying that the young persons that we see presently, except with proper training and preparation, I don't think so they are we ready. We are not ready. I don't think we're ready. Nigeria youths, we are not mm, ready. I, I don't think we're ready. It's 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 not about it's not about it's not about the few. You understand? We are always pockets of people. Sure, you understand. There's a twenty percent of the population there that is of young people that are doing very well. Okay. You know, don't get me wrong. But know, you see, know, right? that, that twenty percent doesn't make the total population of young people. They they, they they don't stand in the position of the masses. We're looking at. Yeah. You know, we're looking at the masses of the population of young people. You know, the population of young people making the masses being at the same level. You understand me? Of. I guess. You know, skills, technical skills, soft skills, you understand me, or what have you, to be able to sustain, you know, a certain growth that will compete globally. You understand me? It is, this thing is not rocket science. It goes through a certain process. But, you know, it's just normal for, young, for us as young people to say, uh, we, we don't bloody care. You know, the same young man who is saying, school has come, will still tell you he wants to be a president. Sure you understand, you know? So it's, as I'm saying, for me, it's a yes and a no. It depends. It depends. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So Nigeria youth, like, what's our fate? Even if they are to determine this, the fate of this country, with the present state of we Nigeria youth like these days, I think we have no stay. I mean, we have no, we have no space at that top at all. Because even we ourselves, we didn't take ourselves serious, not talk of all of these elders taking us serious, not talk of those leaders taking us serious. So we need to like, according to you, bring back our moral values. Yeah. Set our priorities right. Set our priorities right, yeah. And do the needful. Yeah, yeah. And engage, and engage. Yeah, and engage, engage, engage in active politics. You know, I'm we have, sure we, we, have, have we, we, we have, we have young people that are content creators, influencers on social media. That also has a political value. Because, you know, if you can influence people to smile, if you're a comedian, if you're a skit maker, if you can influence people to smile when you want them to smile, it means that you're also a politician in a way. But so how, how are you actually connecting what you're doing, you know, to your patriotic value? Sure you understand me, which is, you know, bringing some form of national honor. If you're a news broadcaster, what kind of content do you throw out there? What kind of reports do you, you know, churn out there? How do you, what narratives do you sell? How do you, how do you, how do you bring the picture of your country? Or how do you present the picture of your nation, you know, on a global scale? You understand me? That also has to be factored into what we are doing. And then, you see, talking about we young people not having a certain, you know, commensurate, you know, in term, in, when it comes to involvement, inclusiveness, you know, in governance at the national level. It, 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 it starts from having the right leader, choosing the right leader okay. of whatever generation, sure you understand me, that would set the right systems on ground so that there is proper transition for young people who have been actively involved in leadership from a certain age to become, you know, at the, at the national level at a certain age. These things are systems, and they can be created. Exactly. You understand me? I don't want to mention the full ideas. I don't want to show my ideas for free. But you know, these things are things that human beings will sit together if there is a political will, brainstorm, and it will be passed into the, into our constitution. There will be senators that will sponsor the bill, and these things will be passed into our constitution. And then gradually, we have. They are young people. They are young people. You understand? The, the Bajabia Millers of today, they started somewhere. Exactly. You understand? They were in their 30s. The likes of the, 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 the um, you know, the, uh, uh, the marking days of today. The, um, the, um, what's it? The Yai, the uh, Solomon Adiola of today. 
most of these people you don't need to go far they were, they were young Bart, people Obasanjo, every one of them started they were all young people you understand but you see it is easier when it is at a state level to get these young people involved in politics than at the national level so that's why there must be a system so that they should there could be a proper transition from one level to another, another level you don't just start from the, okay. from nowhere and say you want to be a president because I you're a young you, person i get you now i think i get you now because we were not even taken serious at all so there's no space for us there like we oh god it is it is an high so may god help us may god help us i don't even know what to say i'm short of words it, but it then is, God help it us. Is, it is to me it is not it is, it is not it is not so sad a story to you tell think? yes to me it is not so sad a story to tell yeah. because as a problem solver, you see, we don't we don't sympathize with problems. Sure, you okay. understand. Okay. We smash problems. We change. We solve problems. We don't sympathize I with problems. And look for solutions. Yes, you look for solutions. There's a saying: any time where your eye open, that's your morning. You understand? It's not late. We could start now, from where we are. Okay. Already, young okay. people are involved. Okay. You understand? We are having progress. We are seeing thought force. We are seeing, you know. A successful thought force coming into play. Young people are taking their stand. Oh. You know, we don't know how far that would go, but even if it is just, you know, the fact that a thought force has been established and it's not a two-party system anymore, sure you understand me, it I is really a multiple-party system. Yeah. Our democracy is expanding. People will get more opportunities. You know, it's, it's not really going to be monopolized as it used to be. It's, business has changed. And these are the different aspects of changes you understand me that we are looking for so but where we are now the, the you know the energy shouldn't stop continue we don't need to fight ourselves continue to engage create these conversations you know let's be able to decide and define things as what they are if what you are saying is actually strictly prejudiced let us define it as that and let's accept it we need to be able to measure ourselves you know we shouldn't have different definitions random definitions we should have one definition for everything so that we can properly measure ourselves we should not be playing the, you know the kind of political kind of petty politics where everybody has their own definition of good no there should be an established definition of good and we would measure ourselves with it sure you understand me so if we as young people can be very holistic with our approach sure you understand me then if you're pointing a finger at the older generation you would have that you know moral justification mm. to come and say you young older generation you people messed up and we are doing better now mm. this is but you know when you are making it all shitty and all messy sorry to use this word <laughs> you, you, you are you are you are you're not you're not giving you're not giving yourself a better chance mm. you're making the older generation still feel that oh, hey, these people are messy they don't they, they're just there they don't, they don't know what 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 it takes exactly. they don't know the price to pay they're just exactly. there running their mouth so <laughs> it's it's more than just agitating all right i think i'm giving you content in fact you you hit it like you went deep and deeper you hit it see now the change starts with us according to him if we the youth of nigeria want the space out there this change has to start with us we need like change the way we think the way we reason the way we do our things and bring back our moral values for all of these our leaders to take us serious for them to think we have a future here in nigeria if not we we'll still be there fighting, killing ourselves, doing so some peaceful protests, and then uh, killing us in the process of it. People, oh God! Yeah. Oh God! This is this is, is just this is just so appalling. So do not go anywhere. <laughs> Stay tuned and make sure you collect your PVC. It's very important. We must not choose wrong for another four years. It is very important to you. It is very important to you and I. Collect your PVC, tell your friends, tell your families, tell your boyfriends, your girlfriends, your sisters, your brothers, your church members, your pastors to collect their PVC and make sure they use it right. Do not sell your votes.